Hey folks, John Luke here with Circuit Board Medics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove an oven control board along with its relay boards on a Decor model oven. Before working on disassembling your oven or any other appliance for that matter, always be sure to disconnect the power. So to access the main oven control board and the relay boards, you're going to need to get in behind this panel here. Some of the reasons you may be sending this in to us is for the F1 error code. Your oven also may be exceeding the SEP temperature or not reaching the SEP temperature. If you're experiencing any of these issues or need help diagnosing an issue, feel free to give us a call. So in this video, we're going to be working on a double oven. You may have a single oven at home, and your oven's going to be mounted in the wall or a cabinet of some sort. Obviously, ours is sitting on the floor. Whatever the case may be, this video will be helpful for you. So to begin the disassembly process, first thing you're going to need to do is open the door and locate the screws inside of the brackets on either side of the oven. After opening your door, you should be able to find some screws like this here on either side of your oven. You're going to want to remove these in order to slide your oven out. If you have a double oven, you should be able to find similar screws in a similar spot after opening that bottom door. In order to continue from here, you're actually going to have to remove the entire oven from the wall. This is a two-person job at this point. And if you have a double oven, maybe more than two. We recommend that you have some sort of padding on the floor to protect it. And if your oven is higher in the wall, maybe a table to set it on. Also be careful of sharp edges when removing it. After you've moved your oven from the wall, you're going to have to take off this cover here. There should be two screws on the top and then screws all around the perimeter. So let's go ahead and take these out. We've now removed all the screws and we are looking at the oven from the back side. We're now able to proceed taking off this cover to access the relay boards. On this particular oven, you might have to flex and lift in order to get it out. After removing the cover, we now have access to the main control board and the two relay boards. If you have a double oven, you'll have the upper relay board and the lower relay board. And if you have a single oven, you'll only have this relay board here. Before removing any of the connections or the wires, we recommend that you take a picture of the setup. That way you know where everything goes when reinstalling. Now we're going to remove all these spade connectors, the wiring harnesses, and the ribbon cable. Remove the spade connectors by grabbing from the top of the connector itself and give it a little wiggle. Make sure when you're taking the wiring harnesses off, you pull from the header itself and not the wires. All right, now we're going to remove the ribbon cable from the control board itself. Make sure when you're removing this that you grab from the header as well. Now that we've removed all the connections, you should be able to see two nuts on either side of the display board here that you'll need to remove. And then release all the plastic tabs around the perimeters of the relay boards. You're going to do this by pinching in two tabs on the either side of it and then lifting from the bottom. After removing the four nuts from your display board and releasing the plastic tabs around the edge of your relay boards, they should be fully accessible and ready to ship to us for repair. If you have any questions about your oven, feel free to give us a call at 800-547-2049 or check out our website at circuitboardmedics.com. We look forward to serving you and getting your oven back up in working order.